Hey, this is Kelly Lemieux from Buck Cherry. Uh, we're out on the Hellbound 2021 tour, touring our new record, Hellbound. Um, do you want to go look at the basses? Come on. So what we got here, this is a, a Forte Helium. It is uh, made from repurposed redwood. As you can tell, I, like, I play this one a lot. Uh, repurposed redwood and the top is sycamore and they're from the old uh, water towers in New York City. They tore them all down and Spectre got a hold of some of the wood. This is a 14, I believe. Yeah, 2014. And I got my little Sasquatch on there. And uh, got the Aguilar pickups. Those are the super singles. So it's like a nice beefy jazz bass. And then I have the dark glass electronics preamp in there. This is my main dog. This one's tuned down a half step. And then uh, this is a 89 or a 90 uh, Kramer era NS20. It's got the EMGs and then in the back in the preamp, it's uh, the has, has preamp. It's the Korean knockoff one, but it sounds so nice. Uh, I got a little thinner neck profile. It's the NS20. So this is the, uh, when uh, I think Kramer was still trying to hold on to it. And uh, this is the, ref uh, uh, referred to as the Don Knotts face. Because of that nice little knot in there. But I use this and I use this on the record and there's, I'm just, I, I beat the snot and I sweat air all, all over the place. Uh, but this thing sounds a bitch and I use it on the new record on, uh, this one is in D standard. We have uh, some tunes on the new record that are D standard. And I'll let Frank put these back nicely because he's much better at it. And then this is an older Czech Republic one. I'm not sure if it's the late 80s, early 90s. I didn't really check. No pun intended. EMGs and uh, I think it's got the stock uh, EMG pickups. Or I mean uh, preamp in there. I think it's all EMG. And this one I used for the A standard songs. So we're doing a lot of switching. Frank has between me and Billy. How many, how, how many, how many different tunings do we have? Too many, man. Every song's a different tune. Every tuning. time I, I, like, every other song I walk up and I hand them, because we didn't do this. We just started on the new record. We wrote some different tunings and stuff. And so we're running A440, yeah. whole step down, E flat, just then, for you. And just for me. Just and, for and I have a drop D, but I do that on stage. And then Billy's got Open G, a, half step, a bunch of G, them. And then the cool thing about these is we're actually, I've been talking to Spectre. Um, I think I can talk about this. Uh, Billy said I could. And uh, Billy and I, with his Rock and Roll Relics, and um, we're putting together a uh, kind of a, they've never done one, a, a relic base. Uh, I think there's some other company whose name I won't mention that ripped off this body style. You know who you are. Yeah, yeah, you do. And, um, they're gonna, we're gonna, we, we've, we've got some paint colors whipped up. I mean, I did a little brainstorming and uh, we're, we've been talking to them the last couple of weeks about doing that. So more will be revealed. That's about all I can really say, but it's a collaboration with uh, Rock and Roll Relics, Spectre and, and myself. And I'm really, really excited about that because I love these bases so much that I have the tattoo on my finger and I don't have any other affiliations that is the only logo I have on my body that's how much I love these bases I use the DR high beams high right beams. yeah because I was using the sun beams the nickels and I switched to the high beams because it's summertime it's hot and they cut through and they don't die after two not that the sun beams did but they last a lot longer um, I use the uh, 45 to 105 and I you know I'm a sweaty dude but I don't have the super acidic sweat like a lot of people as you can see my bridges aren't all potted out well that's a, these are old bases but anyways um so yeah i use the high beams they're the steel stainless steel with the uh is it a hex core i'm not sure anyways they're great strings yeah they're round rounds yeah but i'm talking about the core itself they do a round core and I, this man is I, I can't even keep up and then i don't use picks a lot but when i do I do. I use the uh, Intune GP, uh, my buddy Bert, and uh, I have some other funny Bigfoot ones. I'm a kind of a Sasquatch geek, 
and uh, I have some other ones. It's pretty funny. It's a Bigfoot smoking a giant, flipping off. It's it's hilarious. So, uh, yeah, Bert. I've been been working with Bert since the '90s when I was in Goldfinger. So I use these more to just kind of chuck out than I do. You know, that's my real pick. As you can see, it's nice and gooey and chewed up, and so in tune GP amps I've been using forever. Um, I got these Aguilar's. I've been using Aguilar stuff. I've actually known David Venius since probably he just hit puberty. He used to work at uh, LA Base Exchange in the Valley. I mean, I'm telling you, he must have been 19 years old. He's got to be, I don't know, Joe and David, but I've known you a good 20 plus years. So, anyways, I love these tone hammers. I just run one of them. Um, as you can see, there's my settings and. Uh, not really cranking we use the in-ears so you know masters there and uh these are fairly new in the last couple years and i love them they're awesome got a spare one just in case and then um i do enjoy these little we use these little black stars on the on the bus i got one i got a base one too they're awesome and then uh you want to go to cab is also aguilar that is a 412 see the 12s in there I love these that's my Mickey Mouse with the skull and uh, to the pedal board this right here is the most important piece for my tone this is the Doug Pinnock Tech 21 and I fucking love this thing you can give me any bass amp I'll put this in front of it I can fucking coax it to, with my specters I can coax a tone out of it Try to keep it as simple as possible, yeah, to be keep, honest. Keep it simple, stupid. Um, so this guy, pretty much, this is where all our volume is coming out of. So the uh, Aguilar that's on deck right here, the head, is just running basically the actual just stage volume. So the way we're running it is we're running the GLX, then going to this AB box. So that splits. So let's say, again, wireless goes out. I hit the switch. Just boom, in case. Put them on a cable. Um, so from there, we go to Tech 21. Then from there, we jump to Aguilar Chorus, which is amazing. Love that. Yeah, this thing's dope. And just straight into, uh, splits into the DI, and then it goes into the house. Okay. I mean, goes into the house or the app. And the app, sorry. And I have more uh, dark glass pedals, but I'm just keeping it really dumb dumb right now. I'm, I might bring uh, one of them out and take a direct off it because they sound real good. But that is amazing. I, I, I love, I can't explain express enough how much I love this pedal. They did a bang up job. Um, and then there's one pedal left that again just kind of like Billy's uh, have it at the very very end but this is a decimator. I have it all the way in the back so this is the last thing before it enters the head. Um, just again sometimes it just uh, especially when he was running passive bases. Oh yeah. Um, it I was did just, for one hot minute I ran some passive bases and I was like no. 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 Yeah but that does an amazing job cleaning up the tone. Uh, especially just coming off stage and you just have that, that eh, you know, that hum coming out of it. Um, other than that, I just, I mean, that's kind of the whole rig. Uh, again, once again, simple as possible. The last and most important, also most important thing, my ultimate ears. These, I have two extra sets because if these go down, <laughs> where are my spares? Do you know? They're right here. All right, see? That's how I'm always, you got my spares? Like I bring these, these, these live in my bunk, you know, molded. I love these, uh, Jeanette over there. Everybody's great at Ultimate Ears, so. Shout out, love ya. Anyways, that's basically the, the long and, and, and mostly short of it. Pretty simple, you know, keep it simple, stupid. The more stuff you have, the more stuff goes wrong. So, that's about it.